The story that really just blew my mind was what happened in Pakistan over the last yes. year yeah. or so. About a year ago in Pakistan, people, energy analysts started saying something weird is happening because demand for electricity on the national grid is dropping. As you know, as an energy analyst, humans never use less energy. Demand number always goes up, as they say. So the fact that it was dropping was befuddling. What was happening here? And then good analysts started looking at pictures on Google Earth. And if you looked at the rooftops of Lahore or Karachi or Islamabad, you could literally watch solar panels spreading like, you know, mushrooms after a rainstorm in the woods. I mean, just the growth was literally week to week. In the course of eight months last year, Pakistanis built the equivalent of half the country's national electric grid by themselves without anyone, you know. And when I talked to people and said, how did people even like manage to do it? Obviously, the, the key component was cheap Chinese solar panels coming across the border with China. Yep. But, yep. but how did they put them up? Well, it turns out that there are three or 400 great TikTok videos with Hindustani music in the background where people explain how to snap this stuff together and how to put it up. And the bottom line there, the number that killed me was that I mean, I've spent some time in rural Asia, so I know that the soundtrack of kind of village Asia is diesel generators humming along to pump those deep tube wells that were the residue of the Green Revolution in the 60s. That diesel is usually the biggest input for farmers. It's expensive. Farmers were the first people to really start doing this in Pakistan. They often lack the money to build the steel supports that we're used to seeing for solar panels. They're just buying them, laying them on the ground, pointing them at the sun. Diesel sales dropped 35% last year in Pakistan, in one year. Those are the kind of numbers that change the world.